We're at 142 Dover. And across the street, across the private road, is an RV. Um, and next to that is a trailer. And then down there is a canine training facility. And then that would be your neighbors right there. Um, I'm not sure how far the property line goes. But I would have to look on the GIS and see where the two and a half acres are. Like you probably have room over here to put the horses. And it's pretty flat. Um, but if the property line goes back here into the trees, that is not going to work. Um, but I don't think that it does go too far back here because the property line back there, I don't know if you can see that fence, um, would cut this off pretty short, like probably right behind, probably right behind that building right there. So if you have all of this to put horses in, it might be perfect, but my only concern would be that light pole right there you'd have to cut in around it because if it's publicly maintained then you have to leave that open access for them but there's still plenty of room back here even if you cut the fence around it um, for them to access that so let's go inside it looks great on the outside and let's see Oh, the roof looks good, and they're 30-year shingles. So, and there's this little building out here, and a little dog house. Which, that building is locked. Um, but that's all woods back there. And... The train tracks so the train tracks run back there in those woods too so your property line can't be too far back there it's got to be it's got to be all over there which is good um and that's a goodman unit so that's a good ac unit i'll have to check the disclosures and see how old it is but let me look up under this place